Hello everybody. Today we are looking at 1872-73 outfit for archery. It's based on the Fairtox of Light painting and I've recreated it for my second book. So let's have a look how to achieve the silhouette and what is lurking underside all those layers. Quite a lot of layers here today but the outfit is quite comfortable to wear. So let us have a look. So the usual undergarments, a very light cotton chemise with some lace and decoration, drawers, obviously split, and nice silk stockings. Next layer, corset. And we have a plain corset in white. Let's see if it fits. It's made in Coutille broche with some cotton decoration and it's already showing the change in style from the shorter corset before to the longer line as the hips are getting a bit more emphasis. I should have put my boots before, but never mind. At least I still have my button hook. These are again my trusty American Duchess Renoirs, which are very, very comfortable. And the heel is just right. I cannot wear high heels, so I can just about survive with these ones. Now with the first, oh dear. Old houses, eh? Now with the first bustle era, um, this dress is slightly unusual. Normally you would be putting skirt support, um, that would provide you with the proper silhouette. Well, this one actually has um, supports built in. It's based on an excellent example from that particular era that has a bustle cage built into the skirt, which is great. Let me show you. This is the front book. So just a plain cotton petticoat. One or two will do. That's the skirt in silk grow grain. But let me flip the back inside out. And you can see there is a bustle cage 
but that with a long flounce. And the bustle cage is easily regulated by the ties here, depending how much of a curve you want at your backside. And it's all mounted at the back. The pattern for the whole ensemble is in my second book, to Victoria Does Make a Two, alongside with the instructions. So that was existing in the period, but not very common. Obviously you can wear the same skirt over any other bustle cage you want that, that works for this period. But first, let me see, a little shout out I think. Chemisettes or custard covers with, with visible lace were a great way to spice up the outfit that you've been wearing, you know, a lot. Because you could mix and match and you, you could change those bits. So your wardrobe didn't have to be too limited. This is an original one. Let me have a look. Bit of a close up bright on this side. <laughs> and let us jump into that skirt. The skirt is trained but it can be hooked up for walking to the floor length. And it has pockets. One pocket is at the waistband, hidden here, and the other one is at the back. So your waistband pocket would be really useful for um, a little watch, maybe a couple of coins or a banknote. And that's the dress. So the veil. It's up and bustle, typical of the era. And it's very simple, very simple design. No decoration, but the fabric speaks for everything really. Um, the painting on which this outfit was um, based, the archery that took off the lights, uses the little older skirts as well. Okay. And this can be bustled additionally too. Can be worn without a smile. Bodice. Bodice has loads of ruffles just as the overskirt here too. It has false buttons in front. It's very bright here suddenly. And a false vest as a part of it. It's boned and it's lined with plain cotton.
original painting has. So let us stick to the original. Maybe I should have ironed it first. Mm. It is somehow a very 18th century renewal or revival of all the Chabot and bows. Very much just the core. shallow top and this will need some pinning The Fair Talks of Light sports that as an archery attire. And if we look at those sleeves, they're not really the kind of sleeves you associate with archery, so it would be interesting to see how the ruffles actually fare when we start shooting. There's loads of ruffles here. Right, for cooler weather. We can put a mantle on and this mantlet is in black silk lined with very light wool for a warp layer. It has a waistband that keeps, as you can see, the back sitting nicely over the bustle. And the front can close with buttons, with hooks, or just with ties. And you have a very nice silhouette. There you go. Again, all of these items are in my second book, and the hat is in the hat book, the Victorian Companion. enjoy it all. Just like flashing. It's not exactly Batman, but flashing a bit. And yes, I can sit in the bustle. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Um, it was informative for you. If you would like to support me, um, the link to my Buy Me Coffee account is over there at the end of the credits. Um, so thank you for watching. Cheers! Right, let's test how this one works. This outfit is based on the Fair Talks of Light um, painting and it has sleeves that do not really render themselves much to archery, or so I think, but we're going to test it. Let's see. Bye bye, Ruffles. Maybe at the ball hill. Okay. Yeah, it worked. Bloody hell. Maybe that was just a flip.
little bit on the hitch, but not actually, maybe because I forgot to stitch it up. <laughs> 